Hi faithful ladypreneurs, welcome to another Technique Tuesday video where you learn divine techniques for real results in your business. And if you haven't checked out our latest video on how to change your thoughts and your feelings to be able to gain more results in your business, check that out at going to divinelydrivenresults.com or you can check out the YouTube channel Divinely Driven Results. All right, let's get into it. So we've all been there before, right? Where you have a huge list of things to do. You have your daily tasks that you know that you should be doing to be able to further your business. And all you can do is sit on the couch and binge watch Netflix and eat popcorn. <laughs> because the problem is, is that we don't feel like working our business all the time, right? And I think that it might be absolutely crazy to think that we would be excited to work our business all the time. Guys, that's the first step to this is that you don't always have to feel excited to work your business, but you still need to work it. Um, because the fact of the matter is, is that as a biblical principle, we know that you cannot reap what you do not sow. And so we need to be sowing seeds for our business every single day. But there is that demotivation that comes around and that's one of the biggest questions that I get asked is how do you motivate people as a coach? And, and it all starts with your mindset because we know that, but the fact of the matter is, is that you just have to do it. You just have to push through it. Um, I'll be honest, yesterday, as you can see from my earlier video that was totally random, um, I was having a hard day and all I wanted to do was just sit on the couch and do absolutely nothing. In fact, the video that I recorded yesterday was from the couch. Um, but after I did that video, I got up and I did my income producing activities for the day. I worked my business, even though I didn't feel like working it. And that's the difference between people who are mediocre at business and people who are successful at business is that the mediocre people, um, and I hate to say it that way, but it's just true that people like regular people, as opposed to like super successful people, they only work when they feel like it. And you can watch yourself on this is ever, you know, just watch your thoughts. Or if you ever say this to someone is, I don't feel like working my business today. Well, that's the key is what do you do? Do you work your business or do you not work your business when you don't feel like it? Because successful people, so regular people, they feel their way to an action. So if they, they do something only if they feel like doing it, but successful people, they act their way to a feeling. That's key guys. They don't have to feel like working their business or excited or confident or whatever it is that they want to feel. They don't have to feel that in order to start working their business. Just start working it and the feeling will actually come along. In fact, there are studies that have been done and they're really awesome. You should look them up all about how if you get started for even five minutes on a task that you don't want to do, all of a sudden your mindset starts to shift and you're more willing to stick with that task. So just start it. Um, there are different ways you can do this. <laughs> Excuse me. So um, what I would ask you to do is just be honest with yourself. Like ask yourself in that moment where you are feeling demotivated, why do I feel this way? What is the task that I'm trying to avoid? Because that's usually where demotivation comes from, is that it's from fear or doubt, or you know, you're just trying to avoid doing a particular task. And ask yourself if you could delegate it or hire it out. If you really don't like doing social media posts or, or sales calls or whatever, there is a person who you can hire for every single one of those things. Now you may not be in a position in your business to do so, but get creative. Is there somebody who could take that on for you? And ask yourself, what do you not like about the task and how can you change that to make that more enjoyable for you? So, you know, maybe you don't like, we'll go back to the social media post thing. Maybe you don't like making social media posts. Well, could you listen to music? And maybe that would actually help you feel better about doing that and get you more motivated to do it. Could be something that could work for you. Um, and if your work hours start with that task, maybe you can rearrange your work hours. Like if you are working your business from six to nine every single day um, or whatever it is for you, then maybe you can start working your business hours 
by doing something you absolutely love. Maybe you love the conversation, so you start with prospecting, or maybe you totally dread prospecting, so you start with social media. Whatever it is, you guys get to create this, which is awesome about being an entrepreneur. So think about what it is that you like to do and put that first, and then you've got that success energy and that good feeling for whatever task you don't wanna do. Um, and I talked about this in other videos as well, but there is an awesome book called Eat That Frog by Brian Tracy. He is one of my favorite authors, and he talks about how if you've got a bunch of frogs to eat, meaning tasks that you have on your plate, make sure you eat the grossest, slimiest, warty frog first so that the rest of the day is so much easier because you've been able to tackle the hardest task or the task that you don't want to um, before you even get to all the other tasks. So tackle your hardest things first in the day when you have all that energy and you can be able to create that success energy for the rest of the day. So just a couple of different ideas. Um, another way to get your tasks done um, is to start thinking about how can you change the feeling that you have associated with the task or how you're feeling right now. So if you are feeling completely demotivated and you're on that couch watching that TV show, one, I would recommend don't even start that until after your work is done, right? Um, work after or play after you've worked. So that's always good because then you can reward yourself with that. But if maybe you find yourself on the couch and you can't seem to get off of it, um, just like we talked about in the previous video, think about the feeling that you're experiencing right then and there. Is it lethargy, boredom, fear, doubt, whatever that is, just be aware of that. And then I want you to decide what feeling would actually help me right now. Do you want to feel creative? Do you want to feel confident? Do you want to feel strong? Do you want to feel joyful? And what are those things that are going to help you to feel that way? I'd encourage you guys to create kind of a coaching, um, sorry, create a toolbox or a toolkit for yourself, an emotional toolkit that if you want to feel joy, then what can you do to feel joy? For me, I like to watch drive bar comedy shows <laughs> um, or play with my dog or talk with my husband. Those are the things that bring me joy. So I know if I want to feel joy, I go do those things and then I go do work and then I have a lot more joy while I'm working my business. Um, if I want to feel um, super creative or actually let's go with motivated. If I want to feel motivated, like to get off the couch and go do something, I have a couple of different TED Talks, like pretty much anything from Anthony Robbins will get me going. <laughs> and I'd encourage you guys to find something, whether it's watching something or doing something, make sure you're building that into your day so that you are adjusting your feelings and not just trying to push through them. But remember, you don't have to feel a certain way to get started. So get started because that's the thing is that the feeling a lot of times will come. So if you can change your feeling before you get started, definitely try to do that. But you don't have to change your feeling to get started. That will actually come as you're doing it over and over and over again. Sometimes Let's just be honest, ladies. We got to put on our big girl pants and work when we don't feel like working. That is what success is all about. It's doing the monotonous, boring, unspectacular every day to be able to get the spectacular results that not very many other people are willing to put in the work for. And I know you guys are. So I hope that this has helped you to be able to think about demotivation and how you can overcome that. Um, it's all about creating that toolkit for yourself of different ways to be able to lift your energy and your mood, and then really just working through it. If you don't feel like working, do it anyway. And that's when the results are going to come. And you know, from a religious standpoint, I honestly think that when we are feeling really demotivated and we're not feeling like working on our business, gosh, I think that's the time we need to do it the most. I'm sure you've heard about the phrase of, you know, when you don't feel like praying, pray, that's when you need it the most. I feel like that's the same thing, is that Satan has a way to, you know, pull us down and say, man, you've had a really hard day and you should just take the rest of the day off. This happened to me yesterday. Um, just take the rest of the day off. You deserve it. And you know, you don't feel like working and you're not going to do a good job of working your business right now anyway. And people are going to tell. So just don't work it. Well, 
what happens is that that continues day after day and then it becomes a habit and then you're out of the habit of working your business, lost all momentum and your results are starting to go downhill and you feel like a failure and that's where Satan wants you to be at. So don't let him win. When you don't feel like working your business, that's when it's needed the most, not only for building up the momentum and building your business results, but for touching the lives of other people. Um, if you don't feel like working your business, then maybe somebody needed you right then and there while you're prospecting, while you're reaching out to your current customers, whatever your business is, you needed to be there and you weren't. Because it's not just about us, it's about the difference and the impact that we're making. So don't let Satan win and make sure that you overcome demotivation by these different techniques that we've talked about here today. Thank you so much for joining tonight and I hope you have enjoyed this video and that you will continue to watch the other videos here in Faithful Ladypreneur's Facebook group. Keep going for those goals, ladies. You're amazing and have a wonderful night.